what do we do when the opponent comes through the neutral zone, we go to hunt and eliminate, and we are not successful getting the play stopped before our blue line. When that happens, we simply defend by presence versus position, one, two, three, four, five. We call this reporting to defensive zone coverage. Blue team moves the puck. Here comes our forward to hunt and eliminate. D is playing the dots. We do not get the play stopped in here. Forward hands it to the D. D doesn't get the play stopped. Well, now it's defensive zone coverage. First man's on the puck. Second man supports. Third man plus one up and off the front post. Fourth guy's in the hole. Fifth guy is about at the edge of the circle on the strong side. One, two, three, four, five. Defensive zone coverage reporting by presence versus true position. Totally connected. Face off at center ice. We two on one the puck outside the dot. We need to try and avoid this. Nonetheless, Sweden deposits it. What we need here is one, two, three, four, five. Five guys in defensive position, and we have it. Two guys low, plus one, hole, strong side. We report one, two, three, four, five. We come up with the puck. And in under eight seconds, we are out into the neutral zone. Very good. US in blue, they have the puck. They fire the puck hard around. Our defenseman gets first touch, but can't break it out. Defensive zone coverage. One, two, three, four, five, in that order. And that's exactly what ends up happening. Second man comes low. We have a good plus one man. In this case, it's the center on the line. These are the two defensemen. Positions don't matter. Again, just to be clear, positions do not matter. What matters is we go to breakout, we can't, defensive zone coverage. One, two, three, four, five. That's what matters in that order. And just like that, we pop the puck free to our plus one man. And we are working our way out of the zone in under eight seconds. We are in the offensive zone working. White team comes up with the puck. This forward goes to change. He had been on the ice for a long time. We don't like to change on the back check, and that is what this turns out to be. If we're changing on the back check, it has to be a tired guy, and it, he has to be near the bench, on the side of the ice where the bench is, which is the case here. So he goes to change. This forward gets burned. But look, we're in okay position. D have the dots. Here comes our forward off the bench. Good hunt through the middle. D starts to close. Three one-on-ones. Here comes our fourth guy. Weak side D closes off here. D zone coverage right now. One, two, three, four, five. That's what we need. And that's exactly what we get. Five guys in the picture reporting perfectly connected. And because of it, five guys back, we can now come up together and break out of the zone right away. Good work. Five players committed to getting back to our end zone, reporting correctly. Now we've got a chance to go on offense. Remember, if the play reaches our end zone, we report one through five positions, natural positions do not matter, at least at first. This clip here, this is a D. He had rushed the puck. This is his partner. This is the center on the line. This is one of the wingers. And this is the other winger. We got it. Those are the natural positions. Now watch what happens. 
White team gets the puck. Good passing by them. Here comes the center to hunt and eliminate. Here's the D inside the dot. Here's everybody else. Five guys in the picture. We do not get the play stopped by our blue line. Now it's D zone time. One, two, three, four, five in that order. That's what matters. And we establish our connected look. Now watch what happens here. The winger, who's the plus one man, and the D, who's the whole guy, player uh, four, look what they do. They switch to their natural positions. And that's a good time to do it if you want to do it. We, we don't mind if we stay like this with the winger as the plus one man and the D in the hole. We could stay like that if we want to. We could also switch to our natural positions. And Nazarov's and Kalkis pick a good time to do it when the play is quiet in the corner. We care about one, two, three, four, five, and that's what we have here. We transition the zone. Our D's on the puck, one. Centers our player two. Other D's are plus one man. We have a new player four in the hole. We have our winger as player five on the strong side. Now we come up with the puck and we have a chance to break out of our end zone. Good report by presence and then good job by us to switch to our more natural positions at exactly the right time. This was a messy situation. We're coming off the bench from a line change. We're a little, uh, a little flat. Nonetheless, five guys in the picture. We have to defend now. We have D, D, winger, center, and winger. Those are the natural positions. We need one, two, three, four, five. And we, we technically have it right now. But the center, he wants to get lower, and he wants the winger to be higher in the player four spot. No problem. We sort to natural positions. D, center, D, wing, wing, or one through five. And we end up earning a power play here. But a good report, a good report by us. What the coach cares about is this. And then the coach trusts the players to sort it out and get back to their natural positions if they want to. Good job by the five guys on the ice reporting, playing off each other, talking, sorting out, and using a good five-man connected framework to earn a power play. We enter the zone, we cut back, we throw the puck uh, down low, good firm play, and this guy wipes out. Sweden fires cross ice. Time to report. Good job by this guy looking over his shoulder. One, even though he fell down. Two, three has to stop in plus one position, which he does. Good detail. Four, reports to the hole. Five is the man that fell. And there he is on the strong side. Good hustle by him to get back. But what I like here is the order in which we report because it is absolutely correct. One, two, three stops. Four is in the hole. And this is the fifth most important area. Boom. We're there right on time. And now it is Sweden, despite us falling down in the O-zone, that's going back to their end. Good job by us being committed, playing connected in fives. Solid report here.